hello guys good morning and i am going to explain about email automation uh, how to send email so here in automation we have a special feature like email automation and send email so i am going to explain about email automation and the requirement for email automation is we need to have smtp server name like we are going to use gmail for gmail so we need to have gmail smtp host name like uh, smtp.gmail.com like in outlook smtp.outlook.com so like that we need to have server name in companies there will be server names on company name like, like if we have uh, infosys infosys.smtp.infosys.com like like that okay and next uh, in companies we use outlook generally so we are going to see in next video i'm going to explain outlook because i don't have outlook set up right now and we need to use gmail right now so i'm going to explain about how to assign the way to variables in next video so then afterwards uh, we are going to see smtp server settings and email automation notification right then so here uh, you can see there is no email access so i am going to show you there will be new email coming here in the top of the mm, primary emails so it is last is 137 pm so i am now 430 420 so i am going to send email through using email automation right so first thing how to set smtp server for smtp server you note down better note down because it is an interview question so how to set up your smtp server in it is client room in client room in the top of the board the menu you can see tools in tools there will be options so you click on options you will find different login uh, notification settings and notifications so here in options you can set any details right in email for email sending email you need to go to email settings so you need to assign smtp gmail server and its port number and you username and password so you can include go green message that the end of the video at the end of the email so if you want to so you can tick if it is not necessary it's a it's our option how to give it or not <coughs> so you need to have port number there will be two port numbers uh, so first is the 465 and the range is uh, about 575 i think so to use the if you are using clicking this my server user secure connection you need to give 465 port number right uh, then after giving smtp.gmail.com and giving port number and username password click apply and click ok ok so i have already entered the details so no need to give any further details so this is all no further settings so my control room is expired so i am going to see i show you control room setup so here till it is okay we are giving okay right uh, next after that you need to have smtp settings we have done smtp settings and we are going to see email notification right okay first thing i need to check out it uh, this automation in your control room this is control room where you are going to store all the tasks which we have done so i am going to connect to the control room before going to see email automation email notifications and automation right so till then uh, he in so here you can use send email options drag it and drop it so this is my mail id but in company mail id we are going to give company mail id from such a company dot infosys dot com like that so 
two mail IDs to your recipient who is going to be your recipient so I am going to give same email ID control C control V and if you want to attach anything like uh, excel sheet notepad page anything else I am going to attach you can go in attach it so I am going to attach automation anywhere image okay then click open so automatically any anywhere <coughs> sorry automation anywhere image will be displayed and send through mail to my mail so I am the sender I am the recipient so don't need to worry about that so next thing is uh, first thing we need to ascend to uh, sure. don't worry this password is uh, different for different people so I am going to log into control room again so we need to log into control room to the run the tasks so so this is the trial version so I am going to show you how to send emails so this is the mm, email send email option we are going to drag and drop it so which we have already done so I am going to save all the this so this is the task name which we are going to give so uh, I am going to give assign it to variables in next uh, video you are going to see how we are going to assign variables so here you are going to see you have to insert variables so insert variable is very important concept in automation anywhere without variables you can't do anything in automation anywhere so I am going to take next section to uh, how to insert variables in all the commands so first thing we are going to see insert variables in next video for now you are going to see just send email okay then we save it so there are two automations so here two mails so I am going to send email first thing I need to check whether work control is done right so we need to save the task saved and uh, uh, here we are going to run it so it is going to run when it is going to run you are going to see at the left uh, right side corner at the end you are going to see run task is running so I am going to show you here so you can see here uh, here you got so task is going to run Okay. Yeah, done. Uh, this is the send email example I am going to show you that whether email is sent successfully or not so first email we have sent so it is still running it is because of my internet connection a little bit slow so let us check it in my mail box so so you can see that email will be sent successfully yes we got the email so here you can see the email IDs which we have sent and another email ID will be generated now here is another email ID which we have given to it this is the image which we have done right uh, so this is the main thing we are going to use in automation anywhere right send email is important command which we are going to use repeatedly in every task and every business process right and uh, thank you for watching my video this is the end of the video i am going to explain how how to send email to a group of people separately same mail separately and in organization right thank you for watching my video subscribe to my channel for further videos thank you very much i am going to end this session thank you bye, -bye.